Today I wanted to demonstrate how, to, how I like to properly use resistance bands such as a TheraBand to do some dry land specific exercises that not only work on strengthening swimming specific muscles, the rear delts, the lats, and the triceps, but you can also work on swim technique with bands. So first you want to um, get a resistance band. They come in a variety of colors with different resistances and you wanna hang, wrap it around something that's sturdy, whatever you have. It could be a tree branch, some tree in your backyard. Um, I used to connect mine to my trampoline in my backyard. Um, it could be a pole, it could be a, um, the ladder, really anything sturdy in your house. Um, you wanna make sure it's about um, hip, hip, hip height or maybe slightly lower and it's gotta be sturdy. So once you find that sturdy object to hang your resistance band on, you're going to step back so you actually feel the tension in the band and you're going to lean over what's ever comfortable and you want a flat back. Oftentimes a flat back, you want to engage your abs, make sure your abs are tight and it's almost like you're going to arch your back slightly. You just don't want to be rounded. You want to be slightly arched and that's going to flatten your back. You want to take the bands and I like to put the bands at a level where I'm actually performing the catch part of the stroke. The catch part of the stroke is actually what activates the lats and so a lot of swimmers don't have that flexibility or mobility or that strength to understand what the catch part of the stroke is and act, trying to activate their lats when you swim. So when you do the resistance bands and you're actually just performing the catch part of the stroke and the catch happens right before the pull, that's what activates the lats, you can just do motions with the resistance band working on that. But what I see a lot of times um, with resistance bands and other videos and from other people sharing them with me, their arms are wide and they're pulling straight back and they're not pulling down the center of their body like they normally would be in the pool. So I just wanted to clarify the way I like to use them is I like to pull down the center of my body between my belly button and hip because that's what you should be doing in the pool, swimming over that black line in your lane. And then a follow through is making sure you're pulling all the way back down the center of your body, catch and then push just like the drill I like to use is the underwater doggy paddle drill. You're basically doing the underwater doggy paddle drill with the band, the catch and the follow through. Scrape your thigh. I'm always telling athletes to follow through by scraping their thigh. You can do this motion with bands and it's great to do, especially if you're someone who doesn't have access to a pool or you're in a gym, it's actually a really good warm-up for other strength training um, movements. So let's look at it from the side. Catch, push, catch, push, catch, push, catch, push. Now there's a lot of routines you can do with the band and in this video I just wanted to demonstrate the proper use of it. I love to hear how your resistance band training is going for you or if you have questions leave a comment in the comment sections and make it a great day.